Let us take an example of an online magazine. We have users who read any kind of articles on the website. They also have a preferred subscriptions based on topics. Our objective is to count how many users visited a link that was not in their subscribe topics and we have to do it almost in real time. Let us try to put down the kind of data we have. We have a large table user data which is loaded in the form of an RDD containing pairs having two fields, user identifier and the topics that user has subscribed to. So, user data represents user's subscription. Also, we are keeping record of all the activities of a user such as who has clicked on which topic link. We call these events and this RDD of events contain user ID and link info pairs. It is a smaller table because it has only last five minutes of user activity. How will we accomplish this? We will have to join user data with events on user ID periodically. While joining two RDDs, it is essentially a lookup based on user ID. Though the code will run fine, but it will be inefficient because it would involve a lot of network transfer. Let us take a look at the code. First, we are loading user data once from a file located in HDFS. Then, we are defining a function process new logs which accepts log file as argument. This argument is a file which contains last five minutes of user activity. This function process new logs will be called periodically to process new log file. In this function, we will load the file that is passed as argument as an RDD. Please note that both user ID and events are loaded from sequence files. Afterwards, we are joining user data with events to form an RDD with the name joined. We need to filter this joined RDD in order to keep only the users which have visited the topics that they have not subscribed to. Let us take a look at the code. First, we are loading user data once from a file located in HDFS. Then we are defining a function process new logs which accepts log file name as argument. This argument is a file that contains the last five minutes of user activity. This function process new logs will be called periodically to process new file. Inside this function, we will load the file that is passed as argument as an RDD. Please note that both user data and events are loaded from sequence files. Afterwards, we are joining user data with events to form an RDD with the name joint. We need to filter this joint RDD in order to keep only those users which have visited the topics that they have not subscribed to. Then we print the result. Though it gives correct results, but it is inefficient. To avoid too much suffering, we can partition our user data based on user ID. And to make it even faster to look up, we can persist it. As you can guess from the diagram, the network transfer required to look up user data has become less. Thus, joining will become really fast. This is 
very much similar to creating indexes on database table. Just that these RDDs are temporary, unlike tables. Or you can say that these RDDs are like temporary tables. So let us take a look at the code. First, we are importing a partitioner implementation, hash partitioner. Then, we are simply using a transformation partition by with an instance of hash partitioner. The argument to hash partitioner is 8, which is basically number of partitions that you expect in the output. Partition by method is applicable only on the pair RDD or key value RDD. Partitioners are classes which specify the criteria to reorganize the keys of key value RDD or pair RDD. The examples of partitioners are hash partitioner and range partitioner. Hash partitioner is a very simple class. It implements hash based partitioning using Java objects hash code method. Range partitioner, it partitions sortable records by range into roughly equal ranges. The ranges are determined by sampling the content of an RDD that we have passed. Note that the actual number of partitioners created by range partitioner might not be the same as partitions parameter in the case where the number of sample records is less than the value of partitions. You can repartition an RDD at any point of time using repartition method. This method accepts an integer argument specifying new number of partitions. Most of the operations that generally involve a lookup benefit from partitioning. Meaning, such operations become faster if the RDD is partitioned based on the same key on which we are looking up. Examples of such operations are co-group, group with, group by key, reduce by key, join, left outer join, right outer join, combine by key and lookup. 